Greetings folks, Coleman Alderson for Gardensall.com. I'm here at a beautiful end of February spring-like day and we're getting ready to set up an Ollie raised garden bed. We've had it in storage for a while and the weather's breaking really nicely so we're going to start with uh, setting the bed up. You'll notice by the way that this has a um, kind of small format. It's about a, I don't know, about a 28 inch by two foot type box. Not all that deep. So the genius of this is that it ships very easily. And uh, let's see what's inside. Oh, look at here. Of course, it's packed very nicely. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but it has um, It has all the pieces, all the curved pieces are matching together right in here and then your straight pieces are in the back. So, so we picked the, uh, the 12 in one size. There literally are 12 different configurations you can put this particular bed into and we like the color green. So uh, timing wise it takes a couple minutes to get the plastic coating off of these panels here and what I'm discovering is if you pick an edge short edge and peel it back I'm doing this with my thumbnail don't have many fingernails here and then you got you get it kind of started it's going to be a lot easier once you get it started to work your way along the top here I'm just peeling along the top the very top edge, peeling that back. Okay, kind of walking it as I go with my fingers. There's probably a million techniques in doing this, right? But um, this seems to be what I've discovered works best so far. And then rather than try to strip down in this direction, it seems to work really well if you can get strips going down right vertically okay and then it's um, it's coated with plastic on both sides so let's flip it over and repeat the process okay. we're finding that in putting the panels together it's uh, it's a pretty simple process to put in the bolts three bolts rather loosely and then come back with uh, the rest of the bolts and also using a drill driver saves a lot of turning time so we're using a combination of a socket wrench along with the drill driver and I'm figuring the socket wrench may be a little more I should say a little less um, harsh on the back side here, scratching and whatnot, than the wrench they provided. But you could do all of this basically with a Phillips head screwdriver and the wrench that they give you. So it is pretty low tech as far as equipment goes in assembling these things. Well, all right, we are now putting on the end pieces to the long straight pieces. And pretty soon we'll be setting our Ollie bed in place. You might have noticed one of the first preps was our laying down the commercial duty weed barrier fabric. It blocks the weeds while still being porous for drainage. Then we laid out a varmint barrier of one half inch hardware cloth, followed by several overlapping layers of cardboard. Cardboard does block weeds and critters for a time, but it also invites worms a valuable part of enriching the soil. Protective edging was attached to the top rim. Then came the soil material and adding other components and adding other components as we filled in the Ollie bed like biotone starter with mycorrhizae, humic acid, vermiculite, and biochar. We watered down the soil material spread gravel around the sides, and now 
the Ollie bed is ready to grow. Mm -hmm.